Hi, I wanted to show you really quick how to use the KitchenAid ice cream maker attachment to make your own homemade ice cream. It's um, really simple and it's one of our favorite treats to make here at home. First, you're going to gather your ingredients. They can be as simple or complex as you would like. I'm using a simple vanilla recipe, so I'm going to need heavy whipping cream, milk, sugar, um, vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. Next, mix up your ingredients really well. You might need to refrigerate this after you're done for a few hours until it's cold, especially if you were using a recipe that required sweetened condensed milk or something that was room temperature. But since my ingredients were all cold to begin with, I don't really need to refrigerate it. Grab your freezer bowl. I like to keep mine in a plastic bag in my freezer so it's always cold and ready to go whenever I'm in the mood to make ice cream. You attach it like so, and then put the little attachment at the top. It clicks in pretty nicely. And then you set the paddle in the bowl and gently lower your mixer and make sure they fit kind of snugly. Lock your mixer and then start it on the first low setting. You want to make sure that your mixer is already running before you pour your ingredients in. Pour your ingredients in slowly. It might splash a little, but that's okay. Your mixer should never be clicking. If it is, that's an audible indicator that something's wrong and you should stop your mixer before adding any more ingredients and try to fix the attachment and paddle. Let it continue to mix around for about 15 minutes. Um, sometimes the timing may be a little bit different, but I always like to set a timer so I can walk away and do other things. My kids were asking me to make chocolate chip ice cream, so while my ice cream continues to mix, I'm going to shave a chocolate bar. I just like to use um, like a cheese grater and get it really nice and small. I like that better than using regular chocolate chips. I'm not going to add those shavings just yet though. After about six minutes of mixing, the ice cream looks about like this. It's still got a little ways to go, but you can see how it's starting to climb up the sides just a little bit. Look at the difference just five minutes later. The ice cream has really started to climb up the sides and it looks like soft serve ice cream. Now is a great time to add the chocolate shavings. Add them in while the ice cream continues to mix. It can get a little messy, but no big. I just used my finger to gently push the excess into the bowl. Let it mix in your new additions for just a minute or two. You don't want to let it go too long or else your ice cream can get kind of hard. When it's done, make sure you unlock your mixer and turn it off. And then you'll lift up the top and remove the attachment. Next, you have to reach in and grab the paddle. This is probably my least favorite part because it's really cold. I use my favorite silicone spatula to scrape as much as I can off of the paddle so that very little goes to waste. If you like soft serve ice cream, you can eat it right away. We like to put soft serve ice cream right in a cone, just like you might get from Dairy Queen. Yum. If you want your ice cream to be a little bit more firm, um, like something that you might get from the grocery store, you're going to use a soft spoon to transfer it to your storage container. Don't use metal because it'll scrape up your bowl. So creamy. Smooth it out and then you'll put your lid on and store that in the freezer. It'll harden up um, usually within a few hours. There you go. Delicious ice cream made in under 20 minutes.